Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I just wanted to check in really quickly to let you know a little bit about Free-to-Play First Person Shooter Week. This is going to be the first, well, well, I guess technically the second, theme week that we've had. We had Humble Indie Bundle Week last week, but that was featured on TGN instead of the home channel here. So, just a little quick information, what we're going to do, I'm going to do each video individually for the three games. Again, the games are Combat Arms, Project Blackout, and Alliance of Valiant Arms. So I'm going to do the videos individually. I'm not really going to try to compare game to game within the videos. I'm going to do the weekend roundup at the end of the week. And at that point, I'm going to talk about the differences between the game, which game I feel kind of came out on top in each individual area. The things we're going to look at in the games, we're going to look at the outside of game interface system. That would be all of the menus, getting logged into the game, etc., etc. We're going to look at the shop. We're also going to buy a weapon in the shop. Whatever we can afford with the base currency that they give a new player, we're going to buy one weapon. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the game and we're going to get some gameplay. We'll just do a basic run through a few levels of gameplay. I'll probably splice something together instead of doing it live. And we will get a feel for the game. Then we will look back at the end of the week and we will try to decide which game we liked the best. Now, I'm not really trying to pit them against each other, so to speak. I mean, I'm not trying to find the absolute best free-to-play first-person shooter out there. I'm just trying to let you know, out of the three games that I played, which one did I prefer? I would encourage you to play all three because they are free and decide for yourself. Alright guys, Combat Arms video should be posted very shortly, so until next time, take it easy.